hey guys welcome back to my channel it's biscuit how's everybody doing today hopefully everybody is remaining safe wherever you are so of course today's video is another vlog of course me going to nail school um so today i actually was working on a set that i'm going to do for my clients over the weekend um she sent me a picture um if you are following me on my instagram then you would have saw it um if you aren't following me on instagram take a minute pause the video go follow me on instagram at i am biscuit seven um i normally post a lot over there regarding nails and my channel and updates and questions q and a's all that good old stuff so make sure that you are following me over there but like i said if you saw me I'm sorry, if you saw my Instagram, then you would have known what set that I did for my clients. Um, so I just wanted to practice uh, doing 3D flowers, seeing as how I have never done 3D flowers before. before. So um, in school, my nail teacher, um, she was able to give me some tips and help me along the, process, along the way. Now, granted, the process was not easy. Um, definitely takes a lot of practice. So practice, practice, practice practice makes perfect right so you got to keep practicing your craft you got to keep practicing whatever it is that you're trying to do so you won't automatically get it right away it takes a it takes a few tries so again just like my teacher said you have to practice keep practicing and you'll get better day by day so i'm actually practicing on diamond which is my nail trainer and i am actually practicing my full set of course i always do a full set when i go into class I am removing the shine from the natural nail just as if I would do it for uh, my regular clients. And then now I'm going to apply the nail tips. So these nail tips are actually from Amazon and they are the McCart, um, not stiletto, why do I want to say stiletto, coffin uh, shaped press on nails. So due to the fact that these are a harder plastic and of course the nail trainer is plastic, um, I had a hard time getting these on to my nail trainer, but they actually stick very well to a natural nail. So I didn't have to worry about that because I'm going to use these on my client. So before the sake of the video, I ended up using the natural regular tips, um, which I don't think I included any footage from. But just as a FYI, that's what I used. I didn't end up using these McCart tips because they did not stick to the nail trainer for some reason, which, like I said, I already remove the shine uh made it nice and gritty so that way you can have a surface for the nail uh the nail to stick to but it just wasn't sticking for whatever reason so i used a regular nail tip which you will see um which you may and may not see actually in this clip so i ended up using a size number four but then i was like this is not working so we ended up switching to the regular nail tips Okay, so right here, um, I kind of skipped forward through some parts I didn't record because I do have plenty of videos on how to lay acrylic. So I did go ahead and do an ombre acrylic nail, uh, two nails, and then one is actually going to be a clear holographic uh, shard nail. And then the um, ring finger is going to be the 3D flower finger. So um, that's basically what I'm doing. I am buffing out the nail to remove any scratches that may have gotten on the nail from my nail file or nail drill. Um, I think I used the actual, I think I used both. I used the nail drill first and then I went over it with the nail file just if I had any extra imperfections that I needed to smooth out. So now I'm doing that and then next I will probably be doing um, the polish and then I will be going into practicing on how to do 3D flowers.
Okay, so here I actually went ahead and pulled out my practice mats. I went ahead and pulled out my white acrylic powder, my monomer, and I am getting ready to go ahead and practice doing some 3D flowers. So this brush here I got from Amazon. It came in a pack of five. It said that it was uh, some 3D brushes. However, I come to find out that these brushes are really no good because they are synthetic hairs. So do I recommend this brush? Uh, sure, I recommend the brush, but not to do 3D flowers. You can probably do anything else with it. Maybe uh, some nail arts with like paint, but or some nail lacquer, gel polish, you know, anything else except for doing 3D flowers because you're going to see me, some of the flowers came out okay, I mean some of the petals came out okay, but the other petals didn't come out okay. The acrylic was actually, um, it was sticking to the, to the hairs of the brush. And so come to find out, of course, the teacher came over and I was like, this is just not working. Like, I am not laying this properly. And so she was like, well, I think it's the uh, hairs on your brush because you really should be using 100% Kalinsky uh, hair brush because Kalinsky brushes have mink, uh, mink fibers, so which makes sense. So as you see, I was kind of struggling a little bit, just a little bit. Some petals came out good, some didn't. So I was just like, you know what? Something's not right. And so then, as I said, that's when the teacher had came over and she was like, it's your brush. So I did go ahead and order a different brush off of Amazon. It actually came to me right before I was about to do my clients uh, nails the day before. So Amazon came through as they always do. So like I said, the brushes are nice, but just not to do 3D work. So um, do I recommend them? Yes, just not for 3D art. Um, so yeah. Just make sure that if you are ordering brushes to do 3D art, that it does say Kalinsky. Matter of fact, any brush that you are using with acrylic, it should say Kalinsky. So let's just make that simple for all of us. Um, but yeah, so in this clip, you'll see me practicing. And then I think the next clip, you'll actually see teacher coming over to help me out. And plus, I think I'm going to leave the audio in because I'm like, this is just not working at all. And so, you know, you're thinking it's you, but really it's the doggone brush. So once she let me practice with her brush, it was perfect from there. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, and also, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe, of course. Become a part of the Biscuit family. Um, of course, I'm taking you all on this nail journey with me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. Comment down below. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So that way you don't miss another video. Let's get us up to 2,000 subscribers. So make sure you share these videos. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at IamBiscuit7. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.
figure out what kind of make it more. Are big, but I just want you to get an idea, okay? Again, I'm gonna lay that about right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let it settle, tap, tap, and press, press, pull, pull, press, 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 press. press. Again, you don't want to lose nothing. You see? Uh -huh. And I'm just making sure. Yeah. And then I'm going to pick up my little. I want I'm gonna paint right remember what I told you about painting right. so you can paint to give it a little mm -hmm. and pick up this where it dropped your white and when you do this again this too also gives your dimension And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick up my little tiny ball. I'm going to lay that right in there. Okay. But don't lay it flat. Flat. Just make sure. Now when you lay... Your first coat.